Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'm going to configure IP addressing for Checkpoint R81 Security Gateway. This lab guide is a second part of the ongoing distributed deployment of Checkpoint R81. Till now, I have installed Checkpoint R81 Gaia operating system in Oracle VirtualBox. I have also completed the first time configuration part to install security gateway component on top of Gaia operating system in VirtualBox. This is the lab topology which I'm going to use in this lab guide series. Uh, this is our security gateway now on which already we have completed the configuration part. Uh, you can see that I have attached four network adapters to the firewall, ETH0 for checkpoint management, ETH1 for server farm where I will store my domain controller and uh, LAN computers ETH2 for DMZ and ETH3 for internet connectivity. As this is a test environment created in VirtualBox, so the IP address on internet interface is from private IP address range. During the installation, I have assigned the IP address on ETH0 interface as that interface is management interface in my case. In this lab guide, I'll assign the IP address on REST3 network adapters I'll also set up default gateway so security gateway can access the internet as well. You can assign the IP address during the first time configuration wizard if you want. But I wanted to show you another method by using Gaia operating system web management interface. To configure the IP addressing for checkpoint R81, first you need to access the Gaia OS web interface of that security gateway. I'm going to use this Windows 10 virtual machine for this configuration part uh, with the IP address 10.2.21.10. Uh, let me show that. This is our Windows 10 virtual machine and uh, this is our checkpoint R81 security gateway. So here I'm going to specify the URL HTTPS colon double slash 10.2.21.1 that is the IP address of the management interface of our security gateway. Fine. Let's press enter key. Let's specify the username. And click on login. On Gaia OS web interface, so we need to click on network management. So let's click on it. And under network management, we need to click on network interfaces. Here you will see the list of network interfaces available on your security gateway. From this page, you can assign or change the IP address to the specific interface. First, I'm going to select our interface ETH1 and click on Edit button. I'm going to select this checkbox to enable it. And uh, in IP version 4 tab, I'm going to select Use the following IP address and let's specify the IP address which you want to assign. In our case, the IP address which you want to assign to the interface ETH1 is 192.168.22.1 slash 24. Let me specify the IP address. 192.168.22, sorry, 22.1 and with default subnet mask, which is going to be 255.255.255.0. Click OK. Perfect. Let's do the same for interface ETH2. Click on edit. Select the checkbox and specify the IP address. 192.168.21.1 is going to be the IP address for ETH2. 192.168.21.1.255.255.255.0 is going to be the subnet mask. Click OK. Perfect. Let's select our third interface, which is going to be ETH3. Click Add It. Uh, let me show the IP address which you want to assign. It is going to be 172.18.72.2 slash 28. Let's go back. It is going to be 172.18.72.2 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.240. Click OK. Perfect. So IP addressing is complete. Next, add default root. But before I configure the default root on security gateway, let's check ping from the security gateway. And for that, I'm going to back on our uh, Gaia operating system. Mm. 
Okay, let's try to ping. Okay, let's ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter key. As you can see, the network is not reachable as I haven't configured the default gateway on our checkpoint firewall yet. I'm going back on our Windows 10 virtual machine. Uh, let's click on IP version 4 static routes. And here you can see the entry is there for the default. Uh, let's select it and click on add it. Next, you need to click over here, add gateway. And if you want to configure a network interface as a gateway, that time you need to select this one network interface. And if you want to specify IP address as a default gateway, then click on IP address. Let's specify the IP address, which is going to be 172.18.72.1 in my case. So this is my default gateways IP address. Let's click on OK and perfect. Now let's click on save to save the changes. You can verify that the IP address 172.18.72.1 is configured as a gateways IP address. Let's again go back to our checkpoint security gateway. Let's go back to that VM. And again, I'm going to type command ping 8.8.8.8. Let's press enter key. As you can see, we are not getting reply. Okay, that network is still not reachable. Why? Let me check the interface, network and networking settings. Click on adapter number four. Okay, it is a bridge, fine. Uh, let's go back to Windows 10 virtual machine and let's find out. Okay, uh, gateways information is correct. Let's uh, click on network interfaces. Okay, as you can see, ETH3 interface is not up, it is down. So let's click on uh, ETH3 adapter, click on edit and select this, enable, click OK, perfect. Now, let's again go back to the security gateway and let's try to ping to our gateway first. Ping 172.18.72.1, okay, we are receiving reply and let's check the connectivity with our Google's DNS server. Let's ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and this time as you can see we are receiving reply from Google's DNS server and let's check connectivity with Google as well. As you can see we are not able to resolve the IP address from the given hostname google.com. So let's again go back to the Windows 10 virtual machine and here we also need to specify the IP address of our DNS server which you want to use. And for that, I'm going to click on host and DNS. And here I'm going to specify the primary DNS server's address as a 8.8.8.8. .8 click on apply. And if you want to assign the IP address of secondary DNS server, you can also specify that IP address here. Fine. Okay, let's again uh, try to ping to google.com. And this time, as you can see, we are successfully able to ping with Google and our DNS server has been successfully resolved the IP address from the given name google.com. So in this lab guide, we have successfully configured the IP addressing on checkpoint R81 security gateway. Uh, we have also assigned the IP address of default gateway and DNS server. And now our checkpoint R81 security gateway is connected with the internet. Thank you for watching this lab guide. See you all in the next one.